Hey y'all, it's me. It's been a while. I'm back. I've been really busy um, at work. I had to hire somebody and so that takes a lot of time because I'm really picky about the people who work on my crew. Um, anyway, I am going to talk to you about another thing that's been keeping me kind of busy and that's the swine flu. A lot of the hysteria has died down um, by now, but for a while there, people were cray cray. Um, I know the swine flu needs to be taken serious. Uh, don't get me wrong about that. But people were losing their fucking minds. Let me tell you how bad it has been. We um, had sold so out of everything that we had for the flu. Everything. I had nothing in stock. I tried to order 48 bottles from this company just to get them in the next day. But they were gone. And they, were, they had 307. Um, so anyway, I'm just here to talk to you a little bit about swine flu aka h1n1 um here in texas since we border mexico people were freaking out extra extra hard um i mean they even canceled single day mayo that was going to be held in a park they fucking canceled single day mayo now i don't know about the rest of y'all motherfuckers but single day mayo is a big ass motherfucking deal down here in texas it's a big ass deal in mexico too but we celebrate it in texas and when i mean we or when i say we i mean every fucking body i ain't mexican now i be celebrating single day mile too i'm glad they got that independence too good for them but they canceled that shit they fucking canceled single day mile how the hell do you cancel single day mile just because it's in a park it's in a fucking park i can see if single day mile was held in a stadium and you know we was all gonna be sneezing all on each other but it was gonna be in a park well, we didn't get to have no single day mile this year up in the park because they were scared. Also, all the parks and recreations, like the um, the place where folks go work out. I don't even know what the hell it's called because I ain't trying to go to no gym. Shit, I'm trying to maintain. Maintain. I ain't trying to lose no weight. Anyway, um, they canceled all that. That You couldn't go swim in the pools. I was trying to uh, get a room to host an a informational meeting at the library. Cancel, shut down, swine flu, oh my god, oh my god. Um, regular flu kills about between 36 and 39,000 people every year. That's the regular old, plain old, I'm not hopping from different animal species to another one flu. And nothing gets shut down for that. What do you do? Wash your hands. You stay at home if you feel sick, if you have sick, sick leave, if you can do that. You drink juices, you might get a flu vaccination. I don't recommend that, but that's just me. You do what you want to do. Um, but I ain't going to get no Ebola vaccination for the same damn reason. You putting weak little flu in you and you wonder why you get sick. Would you put weak Ebola in you? Hell no, because you might get the Ebola. Same difference with the goddamn flu. Fuck that shit. That's just me, though. You do you. Anyway, um, you wash your hands. You know, you take your vitamins. You get your rest. You eat well. All that jazz. That's what you do for swine flu. There are things that you can take preventatively. Things like N-acetylcysteine, commonly known as NAC. It in interrupts viruses. Elderberry is something that works really, really, really well, too. If you're vegetarian or vegan, I recommend that you go with um, Gaia's Elderberry Syrup. G-A-I-A, -A, Gaia. It tastes delicious. I also recommend New Chapters Immunity Take Care, which they use dark technology to make sure that all the active constituents that we know about elderberry are found in there and all the ones that we don't know about. I think they found like 32 new ones using this technology. I'm not 100% sure. But I think it's like 32. It might be more than that. That's a lozenge that you can take preventatively as well. Um, it's uh, Elderberry has been used for flu and other types of viruses forever and ever. Amen. Um, so that's what I would do. I would do that preventatively. I would make sure I was taking a multi, getting rest, eating right, doing all that jazz. Don't lock yourself up and be all scared to live your life. And uh, one of my friends pointed out, um, he asked me, was I scared of swine flu? And I'm like, no, I'm not scared, you know, any more than any other flu. And I look to him and I go, do you, do you watch TV? Do you have a TV? And he goes, no. And I go, me either. Now, I, I don't. I have a TV, but I don't watch it. I just don't find it interesting. Um, I can't remember to watch the shows that I do halfway like. So, I just have TV to watch my DVDs and play video games. And my point is, is that people kept seeing swine flu over and over and over and over again. Over. And it freaked them the fuck out. They even closed school down for three or four days. Three or four days. Now, that was probably the best thing about swine flu. Because I was sitting out on my porch, and 
I could just hear children screaming and running up and down the streets and they were playing basketball and they're like, ah, it was like packs of children just running around in my neighborhood. And honestly, that was like the sound of pure joy. They were excited, they were having a good time, they were running around being kids. I really liked that sound. I always liked the last day of school, the first few days after that, because they're always out in packs. And you can always hear them having a good time and playing all the kid games that they play. And basketballs are dribbling and jump ropes are skipping and they're playing hide and go seek and red light, green light and whatever games they play now. And I just love that sound because I'm just like, that's pure bliss. They ain't got shit to worry about. They ain't got shit to do but sleep late, eat some cereal and stay up late and play in streets again. I think that's great. That was the best thing about swine flu. But they made them little motherfuckers go back to school on Thursday. It's like, they've been out all fucking week, just let them have all week off. Anyway, don't be scared of that swine flu. Be cautious. Wash your hands, cover your damn mouth. Those masks don't work, by the way. That swine flu can still get all up in there. They look cute if you get a designer one like they have for SARS, but they don't work. Anyway, don't be scared of no swine flu. You will be okay. All right? Bye, y'all. I'm finna go to the bar, get my drink on. You shouldn't do that, though, if you're scared of swine flu. Because you'll get sick. Well, bye.